everyone, my name is Iris, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but I was a Lego kid. In fact, some of the first YouTube videos I ever posted were me showing off my Lego creations. I am now home in my childhood home, quarantining, and earlier this week, my dad came and knocked on my door, and he said, Iris, it's time to deal with the Legos. So my parents spoiled me with Lego sets like I was obsessed. In fact, I even remember a tantrum I had in a Target about a Lego set. And what is so crazy to me about this is that I look back on it and I am like filled with shame. Like I do not even allow my child self to like act like that. Like it, it makes me feel bad thinking about it now and this was probably like 10 years ago. <laughs> My main specialty was Lego City. I loved the Lego City sets, like infrastructure, oh boy. But every now and then I would get other sets like the Creator set or Architecture sets or the <laughs> Cars 2 licensed set. I got it for my birthday along with like the Cars DVD and I remember my dad like knowing he did a good job. In fact, I watched Cars for one of my film classes this semester and I walked into the screening and like lost it because I was at, I was so excited. I've actually seen all three Cars movies this year, which... <laughs> I'm 19. The third movie made me cry multiple times, six times if I'm honest. I actually counted because I could tell that it was ridiculous. What? What are we here for again? I've been avoiding doing this for so long, partially because I was considering selling my Lego sets and that was going to be like a whole process. But then I realized that it's perfectly justifiable for me to keep these sets for my future children and like I can literally imagine like pulling out a set whenever they like accomplish a big goal and giving it to them like that makes me so excited. <laughs> I have already dismantled all but one of my Lego sets partially because I didn't think of this video idea before I'd already done that. All that remains is the Taj Mahal. <laughs> extraordinary Christmas gift from my granddad. It took me three months to build and now I'm going to take it apart. So let's begin. I want to stress how dusty this was when I took it out of the closet it was sitting in. I there is still like so much dust on it and I have like I spent like 20 minutes getting the dust off. I am about to have an allergy attack. Somehow as a child I this is actually not surprising if you know me but I managed to save literally every instruction booklet to every set I owned except for one. And luckily I have all three instruction booklets for this. I don't even know what to call it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off various pieces. There are three sections here. There's the bulb, the building part, and then like the pond part. So I'm gonna put them in like different bags. I have Ziploc gallon bags, because that's the best method I've found and then hopefully it'll all fit in this box. So I'm gonna time lapse this. <laughs> unless, unless you want this to be a four hour video. First section. Let's go. <laughs> My fingers are gonna start bleeding, I swear. It's crazy to me how... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's insane like how much the white changed. It like yellowed and it wasn't even being exposed to sun or anything. Which is like insane to me. <laughs> I'm procrastinating this because like, this is like impressive. The structural integrity is great. So that means it's gonna be really hard to take apart. We shall begin. So I'm gonna label this bag and call it bulb. I am using a Copic marker too because I couldn't find any Sharpies, which is so stupid. <laughs> Play Taylor Swift. So when I was a kid and you asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, my initial answer was doctor. Um, I wanted to be a doctor. I don't really know why, probably because I was an empathetic and a caring person, who knows? And then I very quickly realized that that wasn't for me and that I wanted to be a Lego designer. We did a project in like sixth grade talking about like what we wanted our futures to look like and like my future career for myself was Lego designer. So. In a parallel universe, I am a, like, archi 
architect architect <laughs> right now or like an engineer um and i kind of had an existential crisis about how different paths lead you to different things in your life while i was doing this so with that bag number one is done it probably seemed like it took 10 seconds but it took me 15 minutes i didn't completely disassemble the pieces because frankly it was really annoying and i didn't want to take that much time to do it so it's a problem for future me as in literally like 20 years from now me so the next segment that I'm going to be working on <laughs> is this bad boy. If you look at the underside, you can see that it's hollow, which is very helpful. Um, building. This process took me about two hours in total, which isn't that bad, honestly, all things considered, but it was two hours of sitting crisscross applesauce on my floor, like, leaning over this Lego structure and, like, taking it apart with my fingers, and by, like, the halfway point, my fingers were starting to get a little bit swollen, and my hips started burning, I guess? Um, I'm not as young as I used to be. I started to be in physical pain, basically, but nevertheless, I persisted. I mean, I have people counting on me. I have my dad my dad, my dad was counting on me. Um, I, I didn't want to make him disappointed, basically, by not doing this, so I did it completely, all in one day. And, you know, I'm pretty proud of myself, because I didn't procrastinate this process at all, unlike everything else lately. So I have my first bag from the building part done, and hopefully the rest will fit in one more bag. <laughs> I am having my doubts now that this is gonna fit in this bin I designated for it. So I cut down the time lapses significantly. I just wanted to share that because even with me cutting it down, like the time lapses seem kind of long. And um, I had to, I like cut at least like half of the time out, which is crazy because this was on 20 times speed. So that kind of speaks to how long this took me. In this particular section, there are these pieces that were like supposed to be the windows and they were these flat one by one pieces just stuck on top of each other and I was like losing my mind I could not take them apart um, my fingers were hurting so <laughs> I was really happy when I was finally done with the section so camera number one has died and we are on to the big boy now I managed to fit the building in two bags and my last part of the whole project is this situation. I drank coffee before filming this video and I think it is fair to say that the coffee has completely worn off now. So I'm excited to be done. I wish you could see my room right now. I mean I could show you but I'm not going to do that. This is the point at which I had decided to switch from listening to Taylor Swift because I had gotten a little bit sick of hearing her after listening to her for about an hour and a half. And so I switched to Phoebe Bridgers of all people and immediately got into the existential sad zone. So I decided it was best if I didn't continue on that path and I started listening to a podcast or I continued listening to a podcast that I have been listening to called Homecoming. This is now like an Amazon Prime original TV show and I'm really interested in seeing the TV show to see how they adapted it but that's basically what I was up to at this point I was like listening to something more narrative so that I could pass the time a little more quickly and I had something to distract me a little bit more the music because I was getting a little bit tired at this point I was a little frustrated because these pieces around the edge that you see me disassembling here those were like the pond grates I guess and there were these flat pieces that were really hard to take off I had to use this like Lego take apart tool that you see me using. It's the green wedge looking thing. And it just like took me forever and I needed to make sure I got them all off because I didn't want any to get lost. It was, it was sort of annoying by the end of it because it was just like a super, super repetitive task. And it had kind of lost the therapeutic quality that it had at the beginning of me starting this process. So I was very, very ready to be done. This bottom section took up two bags just like the building section and I couldn't fit the blue plates in any bags um, but that shouldn't be a big deal because they're big and sort of hard to misplace and I think I managed to get every single piece from this set in a bag which is 
pretty awesome. Um, I know that I was like missing some at the beginning. Like I know specifically what pieces too that I was missing. Um, <laughs> but you know, I know that I didn't lose any extra ones in this process, which is great because in the past two days when I've been taking apart all of my Lego sets, I've noticed that pieces tend to go flying into like disappearance across the room. Um, so I'm glad that that didn't really happen. With that, <laughs> it is safe to say I, oh, I have completed my task. <laughs> I'm very itchy from all the dust I encountered on this journey. I have no idea how I thought that this would all fit into this box because obviously it does not. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I post every week. I don't know what to do with my hands when I'm doing my outro. Ugh, not touch my face. I will see you in the next one. Do you like my overalls? They're my favorite piece of clothing right now. Let's begin. Let's go. <laughs> we shall begin. Shuffle Phoebe Bridgers. It's about to get sad up in here. <laughs>